It's 445 now. When a baby is facing a health crisis, they become the center of attention. But this week's 7 Everyday Hero has a different focus. This outstanding volunteer is all about the siblings. Long ago, there was a greedy baboon. He lived by a pond. Reading can transport us to far off places, away from reality. Even if we're just outside a hospital ICU. I think the parents of our NICU patients are mostly in a state of stress. The NICU staff at the Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children demonstrate for us the meticulous care they provide each young life in peril. Nurturing newborns back to health takes time, but waiting is not something young siblings do best. Where's the elephant? Having the books here has been a wonderful blessing. Lauren Huttner provides those siblings an escape. We had Harry Potter, Stuart Little, Nancy Drew, The Avengers. We've had like the Twilight series in here, so someone must have really enjoyed that. She donates children's books, hundreds of them, to the hospital. When I was 12, I was looking for a mitzvah project for my bat mitzvah, and I wanted to find a way to, that I would directly have an impact and kind of see that impact play out. Four years later, Lauren is still making an impact. I get the books from my mom's office, which has a bin, and then I also go to book sales. Every few months, she restocks the shelves in the waiting area just outside the NICU at the Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children called the Robin's Nest. Coming back and giving more books back is really important just so people have a way to escape. I like that book. They can keep them here or they can take them home as well and build their own libraries. Lachlan loves reading books, so we've read practically every book in that library. There are so many ways to escape from all the scary stuff that's going on in the hospital. Ever since then, zebras have black stripes, see the stripes, and baboons have red bottoms. The end. So Denver 7 and American Financing want to make you a seven everyday hero for all you do thank for the you. families here in the NICU. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> To nominate a hero in your life, go to denverchannel.com. And if you check out the community section, you'll see all our recent 7 Everyday Hero stories. Time now is 448, taking a live look outside. A nice, cool start to our morning, but that is going to change in just a few <laughs> hours. So enjoy it now while you really? can. Lisa's off today. Katie, you're in for her. Yeah, she's actually taking her kiddos back to school for their Cherry Creek first day. And today it is going to be another warm afternoon, upper 80s to around 90. We've already seen about 43 days at 90 degrees and our average for the whole summer is 44 days. So, hey, we'll just chalk it up to another one, but mid 80s will stick around through much of the rest of the week. Fort Collins will be at 91. Aurora, you're at 88 today with a mostly sunny sky. Dry conditions, here are your headlines. Uh, still a bit hazy as you head out further to the west was the excuse me, wildfires continue to burn through California. Today we have the chance for some widely scattered storms, mainly west of the divide into our mountains. And then in and around the Denver area, we'll see a chance of storms return for tomorrow. Looking at our radar and satellite this morning, skies are nice and clear. Temperatures currently in the upper 50s out at the airport into Aurora and Arvada and Lakewood, low to mid 50s. So a nice mild and seasonal start to our Monday. Temperatures today topping out in the upper 80s into Thornton. 90 degrees are expected high into Westminster. And go a little bit cooler out through Centennial in the low to mid 80s and overall these temperatures right where they should be for this time of the year. Three o'clock this afternoon across the plains it'll get a little bit breezy. Clouds increase into our mountains but in the meantime we'll still see mid to upper 80s at the valley levels out west. Here's what it looks like on our future cast hour by hour as you plan your day today. By 1230 things are nice and clear dry sunny all across Colorado. 83 degrees in Denver through lunchtime and then here come the clouds mainly along the divide and west. We'll see the chance for some uh, high based scattered thunderstorms not really looking at anything in terms of uh, a lot of rainfall mainly just some gusty winds up to about 30 to 40 miles per hour as those storms develop over higher elevations dry across the eastern plains now as we go throughout early tomorrow morning a little more cloud coverage across far eastern Colorado still sunny dry in Denver and west for our Tuesday but here it comes for later on in the afternoon three o'clock we'll get to see those storm chances increase up and down I-25 north into Greeley and across northeastern Colorado through tomorrow afternoon and evening and then we'll dry out again for Wednesday. 
early tomorrow morning, a pretty similar start to our day. Mainly sunny skies across the front range, upper 50s to low 60s up through Boulder and Broomfield, and for tomorrow, mid to upper 80s. So a couple degrees cooler for our Tuesday and our Wednesday. Here's what it looks like on our extended forecast. Chance of storms both Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon, and then we'll start to dry out Thursday and Friday once again, mostly sunny, upper 80s with overnight lows in the low 60s, and a good chance of storms this weekend coming, Jason, for Saturday and Sunday. And right now, a pretty smooth ride. At least it's smoother in some areas, including I-70, as they are doing the paving, and they are starting to pick up the cones right now. I just watched them go backwards here, picking up some of the cones, going back towards 32nd Youngfield, but there still are some ramp restrictions here coming from Highway 58 onto eastbound I-70. Take a look at the drive down to the south side. Still some slight restrictions as that uh, northbound paving is not yet all done, but they are also in the process of picking up the cones. They also had some road work here around 6th and I-25. Not a big deal right now, and they also will still have 52nd Avenue closed down just a little bit off of Vasquez, and that's going to be because of a big sinkhole that opened up in the road the other day, and so they're going to do final repairs today and tomorrow, even though they had it open over the weekend. So 48th Avenue, just a touch to the south, can get you around that pretty easily here this morning.